Dang, that's call out. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just work so hard and I know everybody that's up there does too, but I want it so badly. I think that character is measured more than anything and how you come back from things like that, how you you pick yourselves up after those disappointments, how you continue to fight after that, after the loss, after you get knocked down, you just keep coming back over and over again. And that's what I think is most oppressive about her. She's that underdog and she's always been an underdog. And it's just so impressive to me how she's able to do that. And day after day, put in the work, regardless of the placings, regardless of how it turns out, she just continues to grind and, and that's how character's built. I go back to that day over and over and that day fueled every single workout in this improvement season. This long two and a half year improvement season, I did it to come back better than ever. We made it to Utah, and the first thing that I did was made the cameraman, George, yeah. food, and then now I'm making my own food. So I have for dinner Yuba with the seaweed sheets, and I made a little rice. Kind of like a poor serving of rice. I already had most of my carbs today. How cool and convenient is this little pot? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna link it in the description box below because I think every competitor needs to travel with one of these. And I set up my little kitchen area. Let's do like a kitchen MTV Cribs tour. Got the supplements, live body greens and reds for post-show. I got my live energy for pump, creatine, all the snacks I showed you in my previous video. And then here I prepped George some waffles, some tofu for him, all my deli slices. And I just got really organized with everything. So yeah, check out his camera station. Pretty cool. There. Pretty cool. He'll be documenting everything. I'm really excited. And yeah. today is day one in Utah. We're two days out. So because I haven't seen the sun in decades, <laughs> <laughs> I have to do a pre tan situation. So I'm gonna do my pro tan DIY. And I'm gonna do it just like I would my normal Pro Tan DIY routine. I usually do my own tan for each show, but Pro Tan is on site for this show. So I'm gonna take advantage. I'm gonna let them do my tan tomorrow. But yeah, your girl is pale. So I'm just gonna do probably one part of the super dark and then three parts of the regular base coat. And I'm gonna put it in a little container and I'm gonna dip these little pro tan applicator sponges that comes with it. I made sure to bring gloves because I don't want to like mess up my hands or my nails or anything and I'm just gonna pour the mixture in there. I just kind of eyeball it and yeah I'm gonna get tanned. The get buff. I gotta do this first. So I gotta exfoliate. I've been exfoliating with this for the past two weeks and it's like a pH balancing soap. No deodorant today so I've been rocking the stink. I feel bad for everybody, but look at how cool. They just came out with a order defender. So I'm really excited to give it a try. I haven't tried it. This is the first time. So I'll give you guys my honest review during the week and let you know if it works. <laughs> and if you guys want to try any of the pro tan items, you can use my discount code Natalie 10 at checkout and you can apply that to any DIY kit or any like tanning competition tan. Tell me about today. Well, we flew to Utah. <laughs> what were you crying about already today? I was crying about the fact that I never see myself looking like this. 
I just never look like this. I'm so happy. Every time that I get stage lean, I look like tiny. And granted, I didn't have any enough muscle, so I know that. But it made me really proud to see myself today because I took two years to build this physique. And it was a very hard decision for me to like step away from something that I loved so much. But I know that in 2020, I lost myself and things weren't being fun anymore. So I needed to remove myself and, you know, reevaluate everything and be like, okay, what do I need to do? So I took the time to build and I questioned it a lot. I was like, am I doing the right thing? Today was just kind of like, yeah, you did the right thing. It was really exciting to see all the hard work that I put in just finally getting unveiled. So I just did check-ins and I think they're going really well. I look very filled out. I'm very curious to see what Coach Jamie adjusts today. We're one day out and I switched to strap shoe fairy heels because I was like, I don't know, I feel a little unstable lately. I don't know if it's because two years away from the stage, but the straps are really helping make everything very smooth. So I'm happy I switched to that. And yeah, I'm gonna submit my check-ins, my videos, my measurements, just like I've been doing throughout my whole entire peak week and see what Coach Jamie says. She's probably on a flight here right now. So we're gonna get to see her very soon. I'm very excited to see Coach Jamie. I met her a long, long time ago, and I knew that at some point I was gonna get to work with her, and I was really, really excited when I was just like ready to start just reaching out to her. And last year I was like, I know I needed to work with her in my improvement season and before starting a competition prep with her so she could get to know and understand my body. She's somebody that I looked up to for so long in the industry that I just wanted to work with her so badly. So I'm really excited that she took me on as a client and yeah, now we're in this journey together and it's pretty cool. I got to eat 300 grams of carbs today which is a lot. It's a lot, so I'm trying to like play macro budget right now <laughs> and see how much food do I have and all of that. I thought I brought a lot, a lot of food, but I might need to get more. But so far I had Pride Foods cream of rice with a whole banana, not half of a banana, a whole banana, <laughs> and a whole thing of like raspberries and blueberries, um, half a pack of this for my fats. And now I'm planning the rest of my day and I'm gonna keep the foods the same. I got my coffee and I think what I'm gonna do is just keep rice and a protein. And I really like how the seitan and the yuba worked, so I'm gonna keep that throughout the day. And then as far as veggies, like I said before today, I'm just gonna decrease them as much as possible. So seaweed and asparagus, and that's it. I am gonna have a sweet potato meal for the last meal. Well, I'm excited. We never give up, to fight is a must. We going in, we bring in the fire, we got to combust. We fan in the flame. We bring in the pain. The fire is lit, you can't put it out, you cannot contain. Sound the alarm, it's not a drill, everybody be warned. We burning it down and build it back up, it's time to reform. We ready and willing to do what we gotta do, you cannot stop it. We put in the time, we been on our grind, nobody can top it. Our time too.
So we're at Butler's gym and I just got a quick pump up session. Nothing too crazy, just kind of getting the blood flowing and just feeling a good pump. 15 to 20 rep ranges, probably like two exercise per body part. And then we did some posing and this gym is pretty badass. I am pretty excited. It was really hard to like pull back because there's so much like amazing equipment. How do you feel? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, I got a good pump. Coach Jamie told me to shut it down here, so I need to head back and meet up with her now. I'm cooking my lunch, AKA post-workout meal. We got yuba, we got seaweed, we got rice, and that's it, guys. But as you can see, I'm getting a lot of rice here. I have to eat 300 grams of carbs. <laughs> I'm so excited, so. Yeah, yuba, and then I'm gonna put some salt. Super simple, Chef Natalie coming through, and we're gonna get some feedback from Jamie now. So just getting my meal ready for right after check-ins with her, I can just pound it. So I'm not playing catch up later. Like meal timing the day before show is so important because we want to keep the muscles full. You don't really want to back load too much or front load too much. So it's just like, you want to have to space them out in the correct manner throughout the day. So I got a lot of food to eat today. 2,100 calories, 300 grams of carbs. Your girl is happy, fed and full. Good physique, excited for tomorrow. Way more lifted in that wall. More lifted? Yes, I know it's hard. <laughs> so like, I wanna see both, I wanna see both front both sides really quick. Oh, so, okay. so I can see them in person. I'm still struggling because they both really? look good, but I'm like, there's things I like body twitch. Can you square up your upper body just a little bit more? There we go. Oh yeah. So I'm liking how this is like rounding out versus kind of how we're sloping yeah, and, we, yeah. and you get that little indentation right here. Okay, okay. I see that. Yeah, I like it too. I also feel like you're able to keep your rib cage mm -hmm. a little bit tighter there. Yeah. I like how your core looks. I just feel like this looks a little more bounce. I do feel like you could pop the shoulder up just a little bit. Just a little bit more? Okay. Sweet. I'll send this to you. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I've never tried that on this side. I love how, I feel like it's just really balancing. Everything's mm -hmm. flowing really nicely. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I just want to see just a little more shoulder cap there and that's, Okay. that's it. You're such an anomaly. Like nobody looks like you do natural and vegan. Nobody. Really? No way. <laughs> and when I tell people that, they're like, no way. This is the best I look, so thank you. Like really, like, I'm, I'm just like, I feel great. I don't, I don't care, care what happens tomorrow. I'm just like, Whoa. that's so true. It's like, you already won. When yeah. you know this is my best, then that's it, you've yeah. won. Because that, to me, this is a competition of beating yourself yeah. every time because we can't control what other exactly. people are bringing in or what they're doing. So I'm super happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thank you. you look I'm phenomenal. So Stage. That's so nice. For the pros, we have to do pro check-ins, which are really fun because it's kind of like something that separates you from like an amateur competitor. You get to go and meet the judges, get your number, get your picture taken for NPC News Online. It's really cool. Dream. Sweet potato with a whole serving of Pry Foods nut butter. I miss this so much. Like I've been having it throughout my whole prep but in very small quantities. Follow Fit Vegan Chef for more recipes. <laughs> it's so good. So I just got my second coat of tan today. Sorry I couldn't bring you guys along. There was a lot of, um, what would you say? Nudity. <laughs> Nudity. <laughs> so they didn't let me bring you guys along, but that's okay. We'll do a DIY situation in another video. But yeah, I'm all tanned up, looking like a Dorito with my pro tan little dressy thing, I guess. <laughs> but we're ready. I'm trying to just stand here so I can like dry completely. And then we're gonna do our last check-in with Coach Jamie. She wants to take a one last look at me to make sure that we are in the right track. And if she needs to feed me more or keep me where I'm at. Still got a little bit of water here left. I 
been drinking six liters of water this whole entire week. I don't know what that that is in, in gallons. I think that's maybe like a gallon and a half. I don't know. And yeah, I finished my meals. I'm ready. I just need to chill now. We did all the fun stuff. We're not going until afternoon tomorrow so it'll be a pretty chill morning so it'll be kind of like odd because i have to like chill and be in bed most of the morning which i'm not used to last check-in of the night i'm tired <laughs> too much excitement your body is literally just floating straight through it really like yeah. typically like, you want to go to bed looking almost a little too full because when you wake up you're always going to wake up tired Okay. You think about it. Like, okay. whatever you go to bed, you know you're always going to wake up yeah, tired yeah. and drier. Yeah. And we've only got till noon. Okay. So I can only push so much food tomorrow. Yeah. And you literally look like you could step on stage right now. Really? So okay. you should look like, um, like almost a little bit this, spilled. So that when you wake up, you look right very Are they loose, full, or are they starting to, like, deflate uh, a little I bit? I feel like they can fill out a little okay. more. I just want to make sure we get you full enough because otherwise we're going to just look too slight up there. Okay. So and I, the same amount of fat too? Right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Just repeat it exactly because you've got 17 grams of fat, 23 mm -hmm. grams of protein, 50 grams, 49 grams of, of carbs. Okay. So yeah, just literally you repeat exactly that. It's, honestly, I feel like you could eat more than that, but I don't want to freak you out either. Yeah. And I want you to be able to get an awesome pump tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay. So. Which you did today. Like, I imagine know. what you're gonna look like tomorrow with all this food in you. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too. It's gonna look good. Yes. Trust me. I love. Yeah. I love. 2,500 calories. That's what happened. Guys, as you guys saw, I did check-ins with Coach, and she wants me to eat my last meal all over again. Apparently, my body is eating all the carbs up, burning through them. She thinks I'm leaner than I was when I saw her earlier, so I really have to feel up. So I'm gonna do the sweet potato with Pride Foods almond butter and the deli slices all over again. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I could eat more. Your girl's a foodie, she loves eating. But when the show is tomorrow, it always makes me a little bit nervous, especially pushing this many calories. I'm at 2,500 calories. Man. And I've been eating all week long, so it can be mentally hard to push through that, but I know and I trust the process that I need to be full on stage and I need to make sure that I'm not like flat, especially now with the way that they're rewarding bikini, it's like you have to bring a very full, a tone and with slight separation type of physique. So it's like a balancing act. So we're gonna get a food in and yeah, that's it. And then your girl needs to rest because tomorrow is a big day. It's not very glamorous, that's for sure. Look at, that is pretty sad looking. This is not in the cookbook. <laughs> it's just, roasted sweet potatoes that I mashed and then I vacuum sealed. I need 169. Very specific. I love sweet potato. I've been having it all through prep. It's like candy. We're gonna top it off with some almond butter. Okay, 165. That's close enough. And you always put the fats and then tear from the container. Sweet potato and almond butter. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm just stuffed. I've been eating a lot today. I feel like I'm stuffed, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta trust the process. And I'm pretty excited because I've never looked like this in my entire bodybuilding career. So I feel like sometimes you just gotta do things that you have never done before. Like eat 2,500 calories the day before show day. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the wrong like hair bonnet. Is that what you call this? I, I wouldn't know. It's like a hair <laughs> mushroom cap. That's what it looks like. So I got the pro tan one that they give you when you get your tan. So it's not very good because it's a disposable one. So then I put a bandana to hold it. It just helps the curls. Like I did my curls. I'm doing my curls tomorrow. You got to preserve that curl pattern or else I'm just gonna wake up looking 
crate. Uh -huh. So that's so what we got going on right now. I'm doing some socials because I've been taking everything in and I haven't been doing any keeping up. So I've been doing a really bad job at keeping you guys up in real time. And drinking my nighttime cocktail. Got some calm, magnesium calm. Going to bed. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm so excited. How do you look? I feel like I look the best I ever look, so... Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I am nervous about my posing change, because I've already practiced so much posing, hitting it one way, so that little posing change with changing the toe position to enhance the glute pop from the front, that's making me a little bit nervous, but I know I'm going to hit it. I've done many, many posing last minute changes in previous shows so I know how it goes but yeah I'm excited I can't wait for tomorrow see you guys tomorrow do you have any expectations zero expectations I told myself that I really wanted to have fun this prep that was my number one goal I wanted to find myself again. I felt like in 2020, I lost that spark. I lost my why. I lost why I love competing. And my number one promise to myself was like, I was going to make this comeback like button and just make sure that I was bringing my best and everything else was just going to be a cherry on top. So I, I'm just controlling what I can. So that's my expectation. It is show day! <laughs> I'm excited. I woke up tight and full and now I'm gonna get ready to make my cream of rice which I'm looking forward to so much believe it or not like yesterday I was pretty stuffed but right now your girl could eat. I'm gonna send George to get me some coffee the real stuff. I want an Americano with two shots of espresso. I'm just excited to get the day going. I'm in heaven. I didn't sleep much last night. I had had two crappy nights of sleep. I guess I'm just too excited. I like woke up last night at 2.40 in and out of sleep until like 6 a.m. So hopefully I don't crash later. <laughs> or maybe I'll, I'll be able to take a nap, who knows. I'm just gonna hit the spot. <laughs> So the work never stops. I have 30 minutes before my makeup appointment and I'm doing the thumbnail for the peak week video that you guys are probably already watched right now. It's supposed to launch tomorrow. So I'm kind of like at a deadline. So we're making it work. Check it out. So cute. Your, gr your girl, your girl made some gains. <laughs> All right. So we're here about to do makeup with Miss Amber from Lebo yes. Beauty. I'm super excited. And after. So cute. I cannot wait to see you with the palm up there on stage. I'm so excited. You look really good. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Really, really good. And I'm hitting this good? Yes. Okay. You're, I don't no, you're nailing look it. second guessing myself. Okay. You're nailing it. You're, God, your makeup looks so pretty. She does the best job. Oh. So gorgeous. I literally been doing the same look. I'm like, she's like the same thing. And I'm like, hey, yep. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> All right, right here, right? Yep. Just and arch. Can you arch just a little bit more? What do you mean by that? Right here? Yes. Let me see. There we go. Yes. All right. I like how you pushed back when you just did that step together. It looked really good. Okay. It's all about pushing and lifting yeah. through that upper glute. Yeah. That's everything. Once the booty's to the back, just think twist and and lift the upper glute. And same here, like. The more you arch, the better it looks. Okay. I need to bump up. I, I'm not one of those people I can afford not bumping up. So we gotta eat. We gotta eat. Pump up. Pump up. It's go time. And they're already calling you out there. Mm -hmm. How good was your last check-in? It's so good. I'm so excited. So it's show day and I hate it. It's way too stressful. I, I don't enjoy the day leading up to it. I think I get way more nervous than she does. I'd, I'd much rather just be out there and have to go out there myself than watch her. Because for years I've I've watched this, and I've seen her be the underdog, and I've seen her just struggle and get her heart broken too many times. And I just get so nervous to have to see her go through it every time. And 
I know she deserves to win, and I know she's put everything she has into this, and I'm excited to see her go out there, but it's just, I get too nervous. I, I'm so proud of what she's done, and I've seen her since the moment we met. She's just been a fighter, and she's gone out and fought for everything in life, and it's gonna pay off. I just don't know when, and I know she's, She's never going to give up until she she has the win, until she makes it to the Olympia, and I know that. So like I said, my short-term and kind of slash long-term goal is to be at the Olympia stage 2019. Yeah, join me in hopes of going to the Olympia stage next year. Yeah, here we go, guys. This is a long season, and my road to the Olympia starts now. I think what's been different in this prep for her that I've noticed is I think her confidence, her drive, her determination, I, I really think that that show last year where she didn't do well and it broke her heart, I think that something in her changed that day. And I think that She's just had more fight than ever. And day in and day out, I've seen that in her. There's something inside her that wants redemption. And I think she's gonna get it. It's time. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm done. Puerto Rico, Let's go, Natalie! So the day has been absolutely amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better first show back. And I just felt good. I felt good in every single way. Like the morning was just easy, you know? Everything flowed from one appointment to the other. And my whole entire look just came together just perfectly. My look has been something that I always like worked on and I've never quite nailed throughout the years, so the fact that I was able to like nail my look, my presentation was huge. And just stepping on that stage for the very first time just felt like home, like I was coming back home. And it's been over two years. It's kind of crazy when I think about it. And I don't know, I, I'm just trying to soak it all up. It's been amazing. Let's start with the easy stuff. Tell me about your results and the judges' feedback. So I ended up with 13th place and I'm really proud of it. I think it was very fair and the judges had definitely a hard time because the talent just keeps getting better and better. These girls are bringing like just amazing physiques to the stage. Like you can make an argument for any of those girls and I'm just Truly grateful that I got to share the stage with some of the best in the world. There was a lot of Olympians and people that I looked up to for years and I'm just so proud that I got to step on that stage and be compared to them. So my judges feedback, I couldn't believe it. For a minute, you know, after I review the videos, I review the pictures and I was just studying everything right after the show, I thought my feedback was gonna be like, get leaner but it wasn't that, or, you know, you need a little bit more size. And it wasn't that. And I was just like, it was like music to my ears because for years since I started, it's always been, you have to put on more muscle. You have to grow. You're not quite there yet. You have like, you look too much like, like you don't have enough muscle. And for the first time ever, they didn't say that. And I was just so proud, like mission accomplished. And it felt so good to like, you know, it was almost like reassuring, like you took these two plus years to grow and focus on that. 
and it paid off and I was just so excited. And they just basically said like, I just needed a little bit more fullness in my upper glute and that they thought that it was due to posing. So I was like, okay, that's an easy fix. We could totally make those adjustments and bring an improved physique to next weekend, which will be going to Charlotte, North Carolina. And I cannot wait to be in front of this panel of judges that literally has seen me since I started my bodybuilding career so I can't wait for them to see like the new and improved Natalie. What was your favorite or most impactful part of the weekend? Well, my favorite part of the weekend was definitely meeting you guys in person. There was a lot of you that came out to support, that were competing in the show, that were just fans of the sport and were cheering me on and literally stopped me in lines in the tanning area or like in the middle of the street. It was really, really cool. I was like constantly shocked by the fact that you knew who I was and just getting to know you guys in person, getting to know your story and how I've inspired you in some way through my content really puts everything into perspective. And I'm just so grateful to have you guys in my corner to just read all your comments, see all your support and is it really impacts me in a whole different level. I don't think you guys understand how much it means to me because sometimes we put out these videos and we're like, is anybody even watching? And just getting to like get to know you in person really is like one of the best things ever. And I'm just so excited that I get to do what I love to do because of you. Okay, let's talk about in 2020, uh -oh. there was a video of you after the San Antonio show. Can you talk to me about that video, how it's impacted you, and what you've learned from it? I promise I wasn't gonna get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> um, 2020 was a really hard time for me. There was a lot going on in my personal life, and I used competing as a way to like escape it, and it wasn't a good idea. That year was really hard for everybody. I was very stressed and I think it showed in my physique. It showed in the way that I carried myself and I set expectations so high that it ended up breaking me completely and it took the fun out of it. Took the fun out of competing completely. That video is so triggering to watch for me because I'm not proud of the way that I acted. I'm not proud of the way that I carried myself, even though nobody saw how upset I was. The fact that I put that video out on YouTube, I don't know, I feel really embarrassed about it, but you guys have been following me since 2017 and I knew I have to share the highs and the lows because I know it can help someone to never give up. And as crazy as I sound over and over, saying year after year, one day I'll qualify for the O. One day. Sometimes I listen to myself and I think I'm delusional because I'm like, am I shooting for the stars here? You know, am I setting my expectations so high. Am I ever gonna get there? I go back to that day over and over and that day fueled every single workout in this improvement season. This long two and a half year improvement season. I did it to come back better than ever. And I looked back at that show and I was like, not proud of the physique that I put on stage and I never wanted to feel that way ever again. So that day was a blessing in disguise because if it wasn't for that day, I wouldn't have the outlook that I have right now, which is the Natalie that I remember falling in love with bodybuilding, falling in love with competing. This little 28 year old and back in 2017, so excited to share her vegan lifestyle and break stereotypes and having best time on stage regardless of her placing. That's who I wanted to channel and I lost that girl in 2020. So my mission with this improvement season was to do better, be better every single day and find that girl again. The girl that didn't care about her placing, just loved what she was doing. 
And I know that my Olympia journey is not going to be the same as other girls. I know my Olympia journey is going to be a battle, and I'm okay. I've always been somebody that has had to grind for her dreams. You know, even when I used to do competitive surfing, I always doubted myself and I always felt like, I don't know, like getting imposter syndrome and stuff like that. So, you know, the fact that I'm here today, proud of what I put on stage and I felt like that 13th place was literally first. I'm just so proud because like I said, that day fueled every single workout, every single macro counted for during those two and a half years of improvement season. And I doubted myself a lot. I told George, is taking this time off worth it? Is, is taking this time off gonna be enough? The sport is evolving so much. And I doubted myself a lot, but I always thought of back to that day and it fueled me so much to never give up, never give up. And I, through this journey, I found myself again and I'm so proud. I'm so, so proud and I'm so excited. And, you know, it might take me 10, 15 years, who knows, maybe I'll make it when I'm a master's. And maybe, just maybe, it might not even happen for me, but at least I know I gave it my all.